iOS was unveiled alongside the iPhone at the Mac World Conference on January 9, 2007. When revealed, it wasn't called iPhone OS nor iOS. Steve Jobs simply said that the iPhone runs OS X. At the very beginning, third-party apps weren't supported. But on March 6, 2008, SDK for iOS was revealed and the operating system was given a name, iPhone OS. The first version of iPhone OS to support third-party apps via the App Store. iPhone OS 2 became available on July 11, 2008 with the release of the iPhone 3G. With iPhone OS 2, you get the App Store and the Geotag feature for photos was now available. And with that, other minor UI changes were made. If you had the original iPhone, upgrade was free. If you bought the new iPhone 3G, you got it installed. However, if you had an iPod Touch, you had to pay $10 for the updates. iPhone OS 3 was released on June 17, 2009 and was available with the 3GS. iPhone OS 3 brought many new features and I don't have time to cover them all, so I'll try to make it as short as possible. Photo copy paste, 3G tethering, landscape keyboard, MMS, stock apps got improved, iTunes syncing, shake to shuffle music, voice memos, peer-to-peer -peer Bluetooth connectivity, maps inside other apps, turn-by-turn -turn direction in maps. Push notifications, performance was improved, etc, etc, etc. Upon release, there were some problems, but those were fixed quite fast. iOS 4 was released on June 21, 2010. This is the first time iPod users don't have to pay for the update. The biggest feature iOS 4 has brought is multitasking. However, multitasking was not supported on the iPhone 3G and the iPod Touch 2nd generation. With multitasking, you also get photos for your home screen. And to make it all prettier, home screen wallpapers were added, but not on the iPhone 3G and the iPod Touch 2nd generation. Out of all the iOS versions, iOS 5 has brought the least amount of features. It was previewed on June 6, 2011. Devices that supported iOS 5 were the iPhone 3GS and onward, iPod 3rd generation and the iPads. Not much was added to iOS 5 iCloud became available. iOS 5 got deeper Twitter integration. Notifications were revamped, but iOS 5 has had its fair share of problems. Many users had issues with battery life and Wi-Fi problems. It took a while, but Apple eventually fixed all those problems. iOS 6 was previewed on June 11, 2012 at Apple Worldwide Developer Conference and was released on September the same year. The first horrible thing, Google Maps got the boot and was replaced with Apple Maps. To keep it simple, let's just say that Apple Maps were bad at the beginning, but the maps were fixed later on. Siri also got a lot better. I won't go into the details, I don't have time. Just like Twitter was deeply integrated into iOS 5, same happened with Facebook on iOS 6. iOS 7 was announced on WWDC on June 10, 2013 and was released on September the same year. The biggest difference was the UI, since it had a major overhaul. But what else has iOS 7 brought? Well, AirDrop, better search in the App Store, new camera interface, and Siri got a bit more mature. Apple Maps got improved, Touch ID was added, and many new features were added or improved. Announced at WWDC June 2nd, 2014 and was released on September 17, 2014. iOS 8 was labeled as the biggest change to iOS since introducing the App Store. iOS was installed on a whopping 87% of compatible devices. In short terms, here's what iOS 8 has brought. Timeless mode and camera, redesigned notification center, quick type, which is a predictive typing feature, iCloud got improved, health kit was added, Redesigned multitasking screen, Siri speaks more naturally and has Shazam support, etc. Problems? Yeah, iOS has had a fair share of problems such as Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and Touch ID problems. And the infamous bug that caused the phone to crash if you received a certain string of text in your SMS messages. By the time of recording this, this is the latest and greatest version of iOS, iOS 9. It was announced on June 8, 2015 and released 16 September 2015. 
As of March 7, 2016, it is installed on 79 of compatible devices. The biggest feature iOS 9 has brought is 3D Touch, but so far 3D Touch is only available on the iPhone 6s and the 6s Plus. Sketch was added in the Notes app, allowing you to draw with your fingers, but not all devices support this. Maps got enhanced and multitasking on the iPad was improved. iPad Air 2, iPad Mini 4 and iPad Pro support split-screen multitasking which is really awesome. It's also worth to mention that iOS 9 has a lot of improvements under the hood, resulting in much better performance and a much better battery life. And that's it, thank you guys so much for watching, I know this is not the complete history of iOS, but I really had no time to go into the details as far as every version is considered. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, make sure to like and subscribe and I'll be seeing ya! Whoa, whoa, wait, 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 wait. And before I close this video, make sure to check out my previous videos where I did history of Android. And subscribe for more videos like this. Peace.